Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I would like to talk about 3D printing. My journey started about three months ago in February. I was building the Morgan three-wheeler for the little contest we had with Iceman Collections, this car. So I contacted the designer of the files that made the Morgan three-wheeler. He had a TVR Cigaris on his Instagram site. And I was like, wow, that is really a cool car. And so I struck up a conversation with him and he said that it was sort of pre-production and he was looking to put it on his site on the Colts 3D site for sale sometime, but he wasn't real sure about it. So what he offered was to send me the files to print the cigars out and uh, evaluate it, let me know what I thought of it. So I didn't own a 3D printer, but I had a friend at work that has one. So I called a favor in and he agreed to print the cigars for me. So he, he printed me this cigars body and it failed. It didn't do so well and uh, the whole bottom of the car didn't come out so good. Top isn't bad, but um, the bottom failed. And he, uh, he had a lot of problems with printing it. He tried it a couple times and he finally just kind of gave up so I was kind of stuck. Um, I had the files to print this great car and I promised Oliver that I would take a look at the files, but all I could do was really look at the files. I couldn't look at, you know, the 3D printed car. So fast forward to about three weeks ago. So I purchased the Anycubic Mono X2 and I got the wash station and, you know, gloves and resin and all that good stuff and um, started printing. So of course, you know, you, you print the test cube out and, and you get all excited and you say, wow, you know, this is so cool. I, I actually printed something. So then you get all excited. And so I got on Colts 3D and found some free wheels and brakes. And, and then I started buying, you know, bodies and kits, you know, whole kits for sale. I found some on sale for like 10 bucks. So I purchased a few of those and got real excited and I started printing. And so then I tried to print the cigars for the, my first body. And of course I had the exact same problems that he did. Um, I put it at an angle. No, I put it at this angle and, um, and I had the same problems he did. I think he printed it flat. I printed it at an angle, but I still had the same problems. So I contacted Oliver and I showed him the pictures of the, of the one that I printed. And he said, well, let me take a look at the files. So he looked at the files a little bit, did some modifications, and then he sent me a revised file to print. So I threw it on the printer and um, he also said to print it uh, tail high. So I printed it tail high and I got a clean print. You know, the whole bottom of it is, is good. And it's got uh, this, little indentation which didn't print on the, the other one but the modified file um, had this closed so I'm gonna have to cut this open and he provides the, the little flat things that go in here it's a beautiful car um, I, I can't, really can't wait to build it so I printed all of the parts to go along with it like um, the interior tub and the wheels and the wheels they look really really neat car and I sort of mocked it up and uh, moved on to another car. This time it was a BMW M4 Comp. And uh, this, this one came out really nice. And uh, I printed all the pieces. And then I noticed the fine details. There's a drip rail here. And the drip rail didn't print out 100%. So I was like, uh, let me reprint the body. And then, I, then the failures started happening. And so then um, the, the print was sticking to the FEP sheet and not um, pulling. So I was having a support issue. So I had a couple of failed prints, got real discouraged, um, took it all apart, cleaned it, um, rebalanced it, um, changed all my settings, and I started printing good again. Um, one of the other issues with this is the it's spread open so it's 
So in talking with uh, William Geary, Bill Geary, um, he's, he's prints a lot of bodies online and uh, he suggested to add more supports and that this was kind of a common thing. So um, I think I'll reprint the body and uh, get back to this project later. You know, one of the things with the 3D printed bodies and 3D printed kits is this is really all you're getting. You're not getting an engine. You're not getting any chassis detail other than some exhaust. So these are really like basic kits. They're, they're curbsides. They're, you know, there's no decals. There's no photo etched. Um, they give you a window template so that you can vacuum form, which I have a friend that does some vacuum forming, but that's, you know, that's calling a favor and the, the, the sheets, the clear plastic sheets, they're pretty expensive. He works on the Robert Burns cars and the too many projects on Facebook. And he did, um, the windows and he said that one window took him 35 tries. Now those sheets are not cheap that he probably had 20 30 dollars in scrap that he couldn't use anymore so that's uh, so what i did is i bought uh give me a second i bought so what i did is i bought this polystyrene sheet in 0 0.005 and i'm gonna try to uh cut it to shape and see if i can make this work um, this is a sort of a cheap alternative at um, 559 for uh, three whole sheets. So it's it's a good size sheet and uh, if I make some mistakes then hey. But that's what I'm gonna try and use for the windows. Um, the sort of headlight covers and stuff I may call in a favor to uh, vacuum form those. But uh, that's where I'm at with that. So my newest, these, let me back up. So these words were all printed at 0 0.05 uh, resolution. So there's, it's a little bit grainy. Um, you run your fingernail across it, you can sort of feel the, uh, the grain of it. So I started printing today, yesterday, at 0 0.02. And this is the interior tub for the Project Tofu. This was on uh, Black Box, Black Box? Yeah, Black Box on Cults 3D. They do a lot of sort of tuner-ish stuff, a lot of body kits. So I printed this at 0 0.02 and um, the quality is so much cleaner. You can see there's no real layer lines to this, and um, but it takes quite a bit longer. Say the whole body for this one took seven hours. I think that this, just this interior tub at an angle took seven hours. So today I'm printing the body for this Project Tofu, and I think it's going to be like eight hours. So um, it's it's worth the time to me to not have to sand. So just put it on the printer, fill it up with resin, and forget about it for the day. Now, I can't just print model car bodies. Uh, wifey says, hey, why don't you print me something? So I printed her a little frog with a cowboy hat, and she painted it. We went to the hobby shop and she picked uh, the brown color. I airbrushed the green and she picked out the red and she hand brushed the eyes and the cowboy hat. And so now I have something, a little cute thing to put on my desk. But you can see real close that it was kind of rough. Um, it needed a lot more sanding, but it's cool nonetheless. I also printed her a little elephant um, and the legs move, front legs don't move, but um, yeah, so be it. But I'll paint this. I already did one for her and I painted it orange. She loved it. So she wants this one blue. So um, let me wrap all this up in saying uh, 3D printers, It's I think it's gonna be the future. I think that uh, most people are gonna be printing wheels and body kits and um, bodies and whatnot instead of buying them. Um, I know that I've bought my share of, not quite my share, I've bought a few things from Iceman Collections and he does wonderful work. When you when you see the Iceman he's selling for, you know, like a hundred dollars for a kit, you really are getting a lot for that money. 
you're, uh, you're buying the file. If you were to do it yourself, of course, buy all the equipment and then spend a few weeks learning how to use the printer. And then you're still going to get failures. The, um, a bottle of resin costs about $30. And so you're probably using a third of a bottle for a kit. So 10 bucks in resin, um, another 10 to $20 for the kit, you know, the, for the files. So you're at almost what $30 before you even start to print anything. So then there's time. There's uh, this project tofu that I'm doing. It's probably going to have 22, 24 hours worth of printing to it. So that's time. And then there's cleanup and packaging. So, you know, don't scoff at uh, Iceman Collections high prices. It's because it's not all that high. You've got to account for his time. And uh, I would say go if you don't have your own printer buy from Iceman or 3D, any other 3D printers that are out there. So um, I hope this uh, gave you a little insight into 3D printing. And uh, if you decide to get into it, so share your experience with me. If you're already a 3D printer and you have a YouTube channel, make a video and tell me how your experience has gone and uh, problems that you've had and successes that you've had. I'd really like to hear about it. Thanks everyone, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks, bye. You still here? Go ahead and watch the next video. Hit the subscribe button.